Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to Overtime. This is Maricel Casino Rivera. Let me welcome first my co-host, Attorney Oscar Oka Moreno, sir. Hi, Sel. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, wow, our episode this afternoon of our program, Overtime, is something that uh, we are very, very grateful and uh, appreciative that he is here with us this afternoon to uh, talk about the journey of his company and, uh, uh, of course, the many other things that uh, uh, he has experienced here in Cagayan de Oro and Northern Mindanao. I would, I would categorize him as a trailblazer, one who sees a lot of opportunities when others don't. One who sees the beauty of a place when others seem to ignore. A true trailblazer, and we are very, very fortunate that he is with us this afternoon, and we are more fortunate that he has fallen in love with Cagayan de Oro. Thank you. I would like to thank him for guesting our program this afternoon. And, uh, wow, uh, Sel, please do the honor of introducing our very special guest. Yeah, thank you very much, Attorney Oka. And uh, this afternoon is, again, of course, uh, very special. Actually, we had him, uh, this is the second time he's with us mm -hmm. at Overtime, but this time we're having him in person. And uh, our guest is a multi-awarded Italian architect and businessman with an interest in sustainable development, that's energy and real estate. He graduated summa cum laude in architecture at La Sapienza University of Rome, and he holds an executive MBA from the Asian Institute of Management, an international management school established in partnership with Harvard Business School and considered as the best in terms of executive education in the Asia-Pacific region. And he is he's the current executive chairman and CEO of Italpinas Development Corporation, an Italian-Filipino real estate development firm that held its initial public offering in 2015 that specializes in the design and development of sustainable buildings. He's also the vice chairman of the Philippine Renewable Energy Company called the Constellation Energy Corporation, which focuses on acquiring, financing, and developing small to medium-scale renewable energy projects across the, Philippine, across the country. Is a multi-awarded Italian architect, founder, and CEO of Italpinas Development Corporation. Let's welcome architect Romolo Nati. Sir, good afternoon. Welcome to Overtime. Hi, hi. Thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's an honor and, of course, yeah. a pleasure to be here and yeah. uh, spending uh, uh, time with you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, architect Nati. First time that I'm wearing a blazer <laughs> in our program. Uh, uh, yeah. Of course, I, I was quite embarrassed because... Uh, <laughs> That's normal for, for them for uh, the to wear so blazers. Yeah. In fact, we had lunch before the program, and uh, before he sat down for, for the lunch, uh, he wanted to wear his blazer. I said, oh, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you very much, uh, architect Romulo Nati. Yes. No? And, uh, wow, uh, such a very impressive uh, biodata. Yeah. Graduating summa cum, cum laude. laude in architecture. Wow. Nothing compared to yours. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, but certainly uh, you have gone a long way, and uh, especially as uh, for an Italian, no. Uh, you know, uh, Italy is uh, uh, most known for uh, music, art, architecture, no. Uh, the best uh, architects in the world are from Italy, and uh, wow! Uh, what what interest? What made you interested in architecture in the first place? Um, you know, I, I I was born in Rome, and uh -huh. uh, you know, Rome is uh, 
like uh, an open door museum you know uh -huh. i mean uh, uh, we have uh, among the most beautiful and uh, long standing structures yeah. in the world not to mention the Colosseum, the Pantheum, and uh, yeah, so many yeah. other yeah. structures. So uh, growing up in Rome obviously gave me the inspiration yeah. of uh, becoming an architect. Uh -huh. and, uh, and so as soon as I had the uh, age uh, to enroll at the university, I enrolled yeah. in uh, architecture in La Sapienza. And uh, that's, what, uh, uh, that's my passion yeah. since yeah. Uh, I was uh, very young. And uh, talking about architecture, uh, you know, Sel, uh, what I've noticed, uh, the, the focus of architect Nati is uh, uh, the specialized field of uh, uh, energy efficiency and uh, uh, environment-friendly uh, architecture. How, how did you... Uh, uh, begin to realize yourself uh, focusing on energy and environment and things like that? Um, because when I, I was studying architecture and I was designing, I also started my first work, I, I, I felt very deep uh, um, a sort of contradiction because yeah. I am very pro-environment but at the same time building a, a structure uh, they have an effect on the environment so mm -hmm. I was always thinking is there a way for me and for other developers and architect and designer to build in accordance with the nature uh -huh. and trying to minimize the impact and when possible also uh, enhance the environment mm -hmm. uh, so I've been starting to be very interested in sustainable design, in green architecture, and there, there where I, I focus very much into understanding how it's possible to build design in, uh, in, in accordance with nature. And, uh, yeah. and uh, in the Philippines, actually, actually, I have the chance to scale up this uh, yeah. dream yeah. and make it happen with the project. That and you, you have really been a trailblazer in, Thank in you, that, sir. In that uh, Wow, and uh, the the you know what he has done, Cell has won many for for their firm many awards, no, yes. and recognitions, and uh, not just here in the country, but even internationally, uh, architect that he, um, um, Yes, actually, all the projects that uh, we designed in Italpinas Development Corporation in IDC have been awarded with several uh, awards, as you said, national yeah. and international awards. Um, all our projects, Primavera Residence, Primavera City, Miramonti, also the new one that maybe yeah. later I can uh, spend a few words yeah. about, uh, which is Verona, the ne next yeah. project in Cagayan, have been awarded as the best mixed use buildings in the Philippines by the International Property Award, which is the most prestigious award that uh, a developer can aspire. Uh, wow. So, yes, because we put a lot of passion in what we do and uh, design architecture is uh, one of our, our unique value propositions. Wow, wow, and uh, uh, what, of course, I, I talked, I, I asked you about what made you interested in these areas, environment and, and energy and, uh, uh, of course, uh, has it been uh, what I would call, uh, if I may say, so, uh, did you find it satisfying that uh, you focus on environment uh, with the passing of time yes. and with changes having taken place? Uh, did yes. you feel that you were uh, uh, your, your your preference, your your focus, had been validated by time? Yeah, actually, I mean, nowadays uh, um, we, we all talk about uh, yeah. uh, sustainable development and, yes. and, uh, and, of course, in architecture, green design. So uh, I may was uh, a forward uh, yeah. uh, thinker together yeah. with my partner, of course, yeah. Miss Giorgio Levist and yeah. all the people that supported us yeah. from the very beginning, as yourself also. Yeah. Um, we, we anticipated a trend that yeah. now is a uh, streamline and yeah. I mean uh, there is no way in the future uh, above all to design and build if not in a sustainable way. Yeah. Uh, pr probably I can share the story. Yeah. yeah. In 2008 I was then governor of Bisamis Rental and uh, Giorgio Liviste, his partner in uh, the 
the group. Uh, I met him for the first time uh, in one La Salle activity, La Salle uh, Zobel activity, the father and son. Uh, he had a son, or he had sons studying in La Salle uh, Zobel, and uh, I also had uh, Sean and Oscar Jung studying it. And every year, there was this father and son camping that uh, La Salle was having. And so for a number of years, I was, uh, I was uh, there together with my sons, no? and uh, that's how I met uh, uh, Jojo. And uh, the next time we met, uh, of course, Jojo was already in government uh, before me. And in 2008, uh, I was there in uh, uh, the Ketkai area. There was that, uh, uh, say, a, a, the place to be. That was before the bombing yeah. Yeah. in 2013. No? And uh, I met Jojo and uh, architect Nati. And, uh, you know... Uh, I had just been to a basketball game that time, <laughs> and uh, I was in shorts and all that, but uh, of course, uh, jo uh, Jojo was an acquaintance, so I joined them in their table, and uh, they asked me about uh, some questions, really. There, there were, I think, probing questions, but mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, it was essentially about, the questions were essentially about uh, what do I think about the economy here in northern Mindanao and here in Cagayan de Oro? I was governor of Misami Oriental, and I told them that investing in Cagayan would be a good decision. And I even, because at that time the, there was this already crisis that was building up, the, the meltdown that was already starting in the big economies, and I, I suggested to them that uh, we would not uh, feel the pinch uh, here in the Philippines because many of our overseas workers, uh, overseas Filipino workers, would always send their money here in the, the, to their families here in our country. And I, I told them that uh, that's why our gross national product is much higher than our gross domestic product. And I didn't realize, uh, architect Romulo, that uh, somehow that uh, had influenced your decision yeah to invest here in Cagayan de Oro and uh, in uh, Uptown Cell. Yeah. That was the first establishment of Primavera. Yeah. I did realize that. And uh, I, 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 I am very honored that uh, somehow I had helped uh, uh, in your formulating that decision. No? And then came the airport project. Uh, when uh, the airport in Lubia was transferred to Lagindingan because of uh, the arrangement between the DOTC and the uh, National Defense, no? the Lubia airport would be used by uh, uh, the Air Force. No? So that, that somehow had uh, shocked the uptown community for a while uh, uh, because the market that used to... Uh, be very active had somehow slowed down because of the transfer of the airport. But I'm glad that that decision had uh, uh, was was the effect was somehow short lived, no? Because the potentials of uh, the potentials of uh, uh, uptown had also been demonstrated with the flooding of Sendong, and that's when people realized that. Uh, it would be safer to live uptown. Yeah. And so now everybody is in uptown. And uh, I have to say, uh, having been mayor of Kagi and Dioro from 2013, that one of the key original investors that had triggered, catalyzed the growth of uptown was Primavera, yes, Ital Pinas. <laughs> And uh, thank you for your decision. Yeah. Thank Architect you. Thank Nati. you, sir, also for uh, your trust from the very beginning. As you said, it was a very key 
uh, uh, point when we met you. Uh, first of all, I have to say because I was impressed about uh, the uh, approachability, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, of the uh, the governor at the time, so I, I, I thought if the governor was so friendly and open to new investment, I could imagine also that the, the rest mm. of uh, the LGUs and government office would have been uh, would have welcoming us, and that that mm. was the case. For designer and above all for investor, it's very important to find an, a, a, a friendly environment yeah. for uh, investment, and I have to say that Cagayan is uh, super under this point of view. And Cagayan has also benefited from their investment because they put Cagayan on the map yeah. because of the awards that uh, Primavera Italpinas had uh, garnered. That's when people started to ask, oh, uh, we have this uh, very good project in Cagayan de Oro. And that's when I myself had been getting some calls from some friends from Manila. Uh, Primavera is there and what's that? Because they were... <laughs> They were, they were, you were relatively new that yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but uh, their innovations, yeah. the, the trailblazing, the trailblazing ability of Primavera. Yeah. Uh, this was your first project? Yes, this is I the recall. first project, Primavera Residences. Yeah. We are uptown in uh, Pueblo de Oro Business Park, just beside yeah. the SM Mall. And uh, yes, this is uh, the first project, two phases, and uh, this project also, be, uh, I, this project got a lot of awards. And yeah. this was the first project of Italpinas Development Corporation. So yeah. the flagship of uh, our company, and of course, this was very successful, and from uh, there, everything else started. Did you and particularly the, choose that place there? Yes, yes. And uh, the, B, the BPO surrounded yes, them. Yes. Yeah, no? there are BPOs, yeah. yes, and no, then universities also, yeah. and the golf <laughs> courts, and uh, of course the mall, which is also very important. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, this was the first condominium uh, development in yeah. Cagayan at the time, 2009, we yeah. started. Yeah. I remember there was no BPO at yeah. that time in that area. Yeah, and, um, and I always remember, if I may say some uh, anecdote, no? because when we were looking for investors in Metro Manila, uh, when uh, uh, these potential investors see the, at the project, they really like it and they ask, uh, uh, when is going to be this uh, project, in, in BGC or in Makati? say, no, 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 in, in Mindanao. <laughs> I say, in Mindanao, sure. <laughs> yes, in Cagayan de Oro, sure. Yes, in Uptown Cagayan, sure. <laughs> So, uh, uh, and, uh, and at the time I know that many people were thinking that we were a little crazy in doing something <laughs> like yeah. that ahead of time, yeah, yeah. but actually we were just ahead of time because now then yeah. time uh, uh, yeah. gave us, uh, uh, made, made us right. Now we have yeah. all developers in Cagayan, Cagayan, it wasn't, as you said, too difficult to see that it was a very promising city, still a promising uh, place to invest and, uh, and, uh, and it, it, it's, it's uh, plenty of opportunities, Mindanao, Mizami, yeah. Oriental in general, and we love to be here. Yeah. Uh, look at the design of the building, no? Yeah. The, uh, it's it's uh, modern, uh, unique, and uh, uh, w what is the relationship between energy and the environment? They see something where we don't. And yeah. that is where uh, at architect Romulo is, is way, way ahead of all of us. So what do you see? Okay, so yeah, let, let, me, let me try to explain in yeah. a few words this project. Okay. Everything you see in this project is not there because there is no reason. There is a reason. So you can yeah. see that uh, we have uh, cantilever structure boxes and yeah. uh, ledges all around the facade. This because help uh, on the hottest hour of the day uh, to avoid a direct sun illumination on the window. So they create uh -huh. shade. Uh, this okay. shade uh, uh, decreases the temperature inside the unit. So uh -huh. units need less air con to, to, be, to, to, to have a comfortable temperature wow. inside. On top of that, if you see on the third floor, there is an opening and inside yeah. the building there is, a, we call it an inner courtyard, which is like a natural chimney. So the air enters on the third floor and it goes up like a natural chimney because the air, yeah. the air, air goes up and it sucks the colder. So every unit on top of that has a cross ventilation. So it means wow. that people can open uh, the window from one side and, and also an inner uh, um, uh, grill uh, uh, on the opposite side. So we have, uh, they have always a, a, a enhanced ventilation. And mm. as you know, uh, uh, air, speed of the air reduces the, the perception of temperature. So 
uh, you know, the most beautiful things to me is uh, when I walk there and clients tell me, no, sir, architect, thank you very much for designing a so very well ventilated uh, yeah. uh, unit. Uh, we are saving, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 percent of our power bill wow. uh, because uh, this is uh, this is called mainly uh, passive green strategies. It's just um, about designing the building in such a way that uh, the ambient uh, uh, resources such as uh, wind, sun, uh, also rain because we also do water harvesting uh, uh, can contribute to reduce the impact of uh, the environmental impact of the project and um, on top of that we cannot see from these uh, re yeah. photos but we have uh, uh, photovoltaic uh, uh, panels on the rooftop and these That's panels amazing. produce ah, yeah, a certain the, amount of energy yeah. that is given to the condominium corporation yeah. uh, to empower, for example, uh, corridors, elevators. So uh, uh, unit owners also have a saving in the power wow. bill. You know, I, I would like to stress one concept that for us, for me in particular, is very important. We can achieve uh, a great uh, uh, result in terms of reducing uh, uh, environmental impact uh, and so building mm -hmm. green uh, structure only if the end users have uh, also a positive impact on their finances. Perfect. This is the, 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 what I was mentioning before. Yeah, the uh, we weeks. are here taking a photo from the third floor up uh -huh. to uh, the 11th floor. This is the inner courtyard. And in the section on the right side, you can see how it works. So the, yeah. the, the, uh, the hot air goes up and, and, and every unit has a cross ventilation. So uh, um, wow. these, uh, the units inside uh, can benefit from uh, a fresh air uh, all uh, day around, all year around, and uh, reduce the uh, consumption of energy. Because I don't know, also, I give you a, a, a data that in Southeast Asia, yeah. around 60% of power is used for aircon. So yeah. if you can reduce the consumption of aircon inside the residential units, but also offices or commercial, you have a very drastic reduction of your uh, power, power consumption. Wow. Yeah. So this is, uh, I think, a, a sketch and a photo that can really uh, explain how the building works. And uh, I'm sure architectural colleges now are already discussing uh, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you know that we many times we uh, we have a tour from universities yeah. uh, in 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 Cagayan that are coming to see how the building works. Yeah. And uh, and by the way, I just like also to stress that we didn't invent anything. I mean, this uh, technology yeah. of uh, or a design approach has been uh, has been there forever. Yeah. Even Baha'i Kubo yeah. uses this principle of yeah. uh, cross natural ventilation, oh. shading, detachment yeah. from the floor, from the, the soil. So it just uh, rediscovered what has been forgotten. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, the way we like very uh, to, nice, very nice. to put it. Yeah, and uh, because of that, uh, uh, the savings that the homeowners had yes. uh, uh, earned uh, had actually also increased in terms of the value of their investment. Correct, sir. You yeah. really touch a very important point. Yeah. Uh, that goes back to what I was saying before. If we can uh, uh, design and deliver a green buildings that uh, make also financial sense for yes. the end users, uh, this is the best achievement yeah. to me because we make uh, happy the investor, yeah. the users, and the environment. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's, everybody's uh, happy. Everybody's happy, and as you said, the, the real estate value appreciation in green buildings is uh, higher and faster than yeah, other buildings. So that's why I'm sure many yeah. other developers will do I, uh, what we are doing. Certainly, certainly, and um, uh, climate change is also, yeah. uh, and, and it's one one issue that is so difficult to address, but. Uh, we're happy that here in Cagay and the Oro, we have started doing this in, in our buildings, thanks to Ital yeah. Pinas. And by the way, all our buildings are rated green by an international uh, uh, third party uh -huh. uh, evaluator, which uh -huh. is EDGE, uh, which is a green rating system developed by the World Bank through uh -huh. IFC, the International Finance Corporation. Oh. It's very important to have a third party evaluating the yeah. sustainability of your project. Yeah, and, and so you're, uh, you're in the so-called honor roll, actually, uh, because you had been accredited. No? So yeah. uh, earning, earning credit for that. Yeah, yeah. and uh, actually, you know, that Idalpinas Development Corporation is considered a champion by EDGE. 
yeah. uh, this uh, green rating system, and uh, we have been awarded last uh, May, uh, and we are going to be uh, to get another award uh, uh, next month in Singapore wow. for our uh, uh, our effort to design and build uh, sustainable buildings in emerging. Uh, uh, cities in, in developing uh, countries. Uh, so it's uh, very uh, fulfilling that. I am not surprised. Uh, Italy is missing you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they should have thought about him before I <laughs> left. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 So are green buildings more uh, expensive than those which are not? In our case, no. In our case, we are able to control the costs. And as I said, uh, there are many two ways to design and deliver green buildings. One is passive green strategies and active green strategies. The passive green strategies are strategies that are embedded in the design itself. So mm -hmm. what I was explaining, natural ventilation, shading, things like that. Instead, green, uh, active green strategies are more about technology, you know, the, the special air con that you use yeah, or yeah. special films that you apply on the uh, uh, yeah. windows, things like that. Yeah. We work more on the passive green passive. strategy. So the building doesn't cost uh, uh, more to be built compared to other buildings yeah. that are not green. And that's where the advantage goes to the end Correct. users, end because users. with the same price, they can have uh, a rated green buildings or great, a rated green units in a green buildings. And that's, uh, uh, that's cheaper the, cost. Correct, cheaper cost. And correct. Uh, higher appreciation. Higher appreciation. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. So, Be yeah, because the, the market will also demand this correct. kind of units, no? Yeah. There will be uh, increased demand, so the yeah. increase in demand would, would uh, uh, increase the price as well. Correct. And, wow. and, yeah, and, and uh, when uh, unit owners, by experience, I've talked to many, they experience uh, uh, to live in a green building. Yeah. They cannot go back uh, anymore to no. live in buildings that do not have these kind of yeah. features, where they, uh, at the end, the, the, the ambient the environment yeah. is healthier. Let's yeah. also talk about that, because yeah. when you have a, a better natural ventilation, better lights also, no? because we reduce the, the use of artificial lights, because yeah. we have more natural light, all those things uh, are in some way addictive, so yeah. people cannot go back anymore. Uh, I hope that uh, the other buildings that had been uh, uh, constructed here in Kage and Dioro, and those that will be constructed in the future would now take into account the innovation that you have done. Uh, like you said, you, you did not discover this, yeah. but you merely uh, were more conscious of adopting right. Uh, right. these measures. The passive green, green strategy yes. strategy. Uh, yeah, actually, we yeah. are just uh, making. Chal I mean, we are making yeah. effort to readapt to adapt uh, these uh, 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 strategies into yeah. the buildings. More about design, I would say. More about yeah. design. Yeah, and uh, after that, you had the, uh, the second Primavera building. Yes, we have uh, Primavera City. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the one also here is one. In t in awarded as uh, the best mixture building in the Philippines yeah. 2017-18. And uh, this is uh, developing. Uh, at the moment, we are constructing yeah. Cittabella, which is phase two. Phase one is already completed and turnover, which is called Citta Verde. Uh -huh. And now we also got the permits for Citta Grande. And uh, we launched the Citta Grande phase three already last month. And we are doing extremely well. And now we are also securing the permits and finalizing the plans for Città Alta, which is going to be the highest building in Cagayan de Oro because oh. it's going to be in uh, uptown, I think around 30 stories. That's but right. if you consider that we are uh, 110 meters above the sea level, yeah. so you're, this is <laughs> you'll be overlooking, overlooking the, the, uh, the bay and the mountain booking. 360 non, degrees. 360 degrees. Wow. It's going to be very exciting. Wow. And, uh, by the way, we are talking with, I cannot disclose the name, with uh, an international brand. We will bring an international brand suit in Cagayan de Oro. You will be amazed about wow. which brand that we're bringing here. Wow. Yeah, we are also very excited. I never thought about that. Yes, so we're going to... That you could, you could see the back of yes. Lumbia, uh, Barangay Lumbia, as if you are taller than that already. Yeah, so yes. that's a very Imagine exciting... 30 stories. That would be 30 stories. Yeah, around 28, 30, I don't remember exactly. But by the way, this project is, go is uh, going to be covered with uh, almost uh, one hectare of semi-transparent photovoltaic panels, which will shade, already actually, is already building one is already there, will shade the amenities that are uh, located on the rooftop. So what we like to do in Idalpinas wow. is to use uh, uh, green features like photovoltaic panels, 
as uh, uh, architectural elements. So uh, yeah. they also contribute to the beauty uh, of the building and they help the building to perform better. So these photovoltaic panels, semi-transparent, will produce an amount of almost, uh, I think, one million kilowatt hour per year. Wow. And this will, when, it, when it, it's going to be completed. And this will empower, again, the, the condo units, sorry, the, con the condominium uh, common areas. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the building is uh, uh, ground floor, we have commercial, and uh, second and third floor, we have uh, offices and then uh, residences, units, until the yeah. rooftop where we have the amenities. Wow. Uh, maybe the, the in, in, I don't know if the, 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 these are other slides, but anyway, people yeah. can go to it. Sensational. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, we have fun when we design this building. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and the beauty is uh, you're, you're achieving so many things by doing, doing that, no? Uh, the panel, not only uh, uh, you're able to produce power yes. internally, but uh, the building also looks better with that. Correct. No? Yes. And uh, not only that, people would be more energy conscious. Yes. Uh, because because they know that they're saving. Yes. So they would be more saving conscious in fact. Exactly. Uh, that's, because uh, of that. that's the philosophy. Yeah. I mean, uh, make it uh, 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 worth it for the yeah. end users. Yeah. So they don't have to make an effort to help the environment. Actually, uh, yeah. they just have to properly use a unit, yeah. their own unit, uh, and uh, saving on their Mm, bills yeah. and helping the environment. That's so that's right. uh, the way to go. To me, that's the only way we can really help the environment. Uh, uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, imagine how many developers think that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is now, uh, the, the, those are the tall buildings. That's, uh, you're positioning that in the market as for. Uh, uh, for high-end? Uh, we call it open market. Open market, uh -huh. uh, so there are units that cost, let's say, an average of uh, around 3 million pesos, but they can, of course, they can cost more, they can join yeah, uh, units, yeah. <clears throat> uh, open market. But mm. uh, yes, now we, we are going into the economic market. Economic market, and that's uh -huh. what's happening tomorrow. <laughs> oh. The Verona yeah. uh, project. Uh, so there is this new project. New project, wow. yes. Wow. And, uh, this is the one. Yes, this is the okay, one. Okay, okay. Um, Verona, uh, Green Residences, is going to be in Uptown, uh, just uh, on the opposite side of uh, SM Mall. Uh -huh. And this is uh, the first economic development uh, designed and developed by IDC, is Alpinas Development Corporation. Actually, with our uh, subsidiary, we created a, a subsidiary to uh, gather projects that are uh, dedicated uh, to the economic market. Uh -huh. uh, this is going to be a walk-up building, it means only four stories, uh -huh. uh, no elevators, so units okay. are going to be more accessible in terms of price, and, uh, but still green and sustainable. Also, this project is going to be, a, uh, is going to be uh, rated green by edge, so we're going to have uh, increased natural ventilation, shading, and also a certain amount of ener renewable energy production uh, using uh, uh, photovoltaic panels. And the, this project is going to be launched tomorrow. Uh, we got the license to sell just a few weeks ago. And the incredible thing is that uh, we already pre-sold almost 50% of the project. Can you wow. imagine? So we, this is, this is the, yeah. how the building will, 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 work, in terms of, will work in terms of uh, uh, increased natural ventilation. So I'm very happy because I can really see that the market is uh, happy as well to have access to this kind of uh, uh, green buildings, even 
uh, now in the economic market. So units here will cost uh, less than two, 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 two million pesos, two, five, two point five million pesos. what's the area per... Uh, it's around 25, 25 square meter for a studio type. Uh -huh. Yes, plus uh, they will have what we like, uh, what, what we call uh, uh, the um, uh, French balcony. Um, uh -huh means that they can open completely their uh, windows and uh -huh. so they have uh, a very nice uh, uh, relation with the uh, outside. Uh, this is the, how the project will be developed. And the great thing is that we already won another award for, by the International Property Award. Yeah. I'm going to fly to Bangkok on the 31st where uh, we are going to be awarded for this building in, uh, in the Philippines. It's going to be considered the wow. best mixed-use building in the entire Philippines for this year. So can you imagine how yeah. happy we are? The first time we do yeah. a project in the economic uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. market, uh, we are awarded. It's already being recognized, being recognized internationally. So internationally. Yeah, wow. This is a scale ah, model. This is, wow. yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, uh, you have uh, SM uh, on in the, the left, left side. side. Correct. So this is uh, going down. Correct. Uh, slightly. Yes. And uh, so how far is the last building to the right from the road? Uh, uh, in um, front of you, you know, you have to, the, the property itself is 1.1 hectare. So I would okay. say maybe, maybe uh, between uh, maybe 100 meters something yeah, like that yeah, i yeah. think yeah we will start so it's, with it's phase a one yeah. walking distance walking, walking distance, distance. Yeah. absolutely walking distance yeah. yes uh as you can see on the left there is primavera residences and sm yeah, uh, yeah. so we we know this area very well and uh, and it's beautiful it's going to be i'm very excited about this project that's beside manresa Beside Mandresa. It correct. is along Mandresa. Along Mandresa. Yes, along it Mandresa. It is along Mandresa. That's, that's the, yeah. Actually, although Mandresa is uh, uh, it's a generic term, it can also yeah. be uh, uh, applied to that uh, owned by Savior. But this used to be owned by Savior, I, I imagine. No, I, I, the property, no. This, the property where no. we are, no. I think uh, that's a very... Uh, tight strip in the, of uh, property that is not owned by Xavier. Uh, never, never. No, been I don't think same. so. Ah, no. Okay, yes. okay. But that's. Uh, I think the white side is. Uh, uh, that's Mandresa. Yes, yes. Most yeah. probably it's Mandresa. Yeah. Yes. And you have a good view yes, of good view. Uh, Cagayan River. Yes. Carmen and Balulang yes. and uh, the city. Yes. The yeah. location is very strategic because yeah. as you have the. They're um, walking distance from SM and also from other yeah. important establishment. And uh, there are more units uh, in the right side. Phase one. Uh, because uh, presumably uh, uh, the view is much better as well. Yes, also, also because of the shape of the property. You know, yeah. we, 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 when we design, of course, we need to take yeah. into consideration uh, uh, the, the, the shape of the property and, of course, also the various restrictions and building rules that uh, we need to uh, follow. But, uh, yes, the... It's elongated, no? Elongated, elongated yes. Elongated yes. shape. Yes. Sorry, the uh, phase two there will have commercial spaces uh, in the first floor. Correct, I ground think, floor. Uh, uh, ground there floor. is like an arcade mm -hmm. uh, oh. for uh, establishment, for businesses. And uh, so we also... I'm sure we are going to do like a beautification of that area because we are going to give a proper space and, uh, and uh, uh, for, for people also to open uh, their businesses. And, uh, are the commercial spaces for rent or is it for sale? I think uh, we, need, we should ask this to our, to our uh, sales market, uh, yeah. market people. <laughs> I, I think maybe only for rent, but I'm not sure. Please don't mark my words. <laughs> I can be... But they'll, uh, they'll be selling the unit, so it's up maybe, to the yes. buyer. Yes. It's up to the buyer. But, yes. uh, but there will be those who will buy for yeah. the sake and of reselling yeah. later. Yes. Also. Yeah. We had many like that. Uh, yeah. You know, just to give you an idea and to go back to what yeah. you said about the real estate value appreciation in green buildings, in 2010, yeah. we were selling uh, Primavera Residences unit. Uh, I still remember the first unit at 45,000 pesos per yeah. square meter. Today, in the same area, we are selling at 130,000 pesos. More than oh. double already. More than double. Wow. More than double. So, because of the, yes. the inherent value. Yes, and yeah. also because, I mean, Cagayan is really yeah, yeah, growing yeah. very fast. It's a great place to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and the location also is very strategic because very it's strategic. really at the heart of the central district in the uptown area. Correct.
correct. Yeah. 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 And uh, all all the facilities are are going. Of course, you're going to yes uh, <laughs> provide them as well. Yes. Yes. Now, wow. Are these the only projects you have for Cagayan de Oro? Actually, I, I, we have more projects to come. I cannot, uh, <laughs> I cannot disclose at the moment. We have more projects. We, 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 will, uh, we are planning. We intend to do more projects in uh, Cagayan, and we are actively, as we speak, working yeah, with, uh, yeah. for, for, to acquire and partner with uh, landowners to develop new I projects. Can, I can understand that. Yeah. And, uh, of course, with... Uh, reputation that they have yeah. built Thank you, over sir. the years. Yeah. No? Many now are, uh, I'm sure, excited to have them as partner mm -hmm. because of the, because of the, the energy, yeah. uh, conservation, as well as the environment uh, yeah. features, the passive green yeah. Strategies, uh, yeah. strategy. Yeah, that, that's yeah. true. I mean, uh, Cagayan de Oro market is very receptive to yeah. innovation, and I have to say, it's a very. Pro we, 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 we thought we knew that when we started, and we were right because yeah. the Cagayan uh, de Oro market is very, yeah. very yeah. alert, <laughs> very demanding, which is right. I agree with them, but very receptive to innovation. Yeah, and, and yeah. The, the excuse me, Isel, the the energy angle really uh, is pushing them because the more energy you're able to sir, uh, save and generate, then your your saving yes. multiplies Correct. many times over. Correct. And uh, energy cost is not going down. <laughs> you know, uh, you know. Uh, this uh, is a question I I don't have an answer to. I mean, uh, it's cost, quite high, eh? yeah. quite high in the Philippines, and yeah. uh, so the uh, more savings you generate and the more energy you're uh, able to store, yeah. the better the say, no, the higher the prices would go. Yeah, because you know, yeah, yeah, just attractive. a few days ago, yeah. I was invited in two big events about energy in Manila. No, yeah. one was Energy Box, another one was. Uh, future energy uh, uh, event in, in Manila, and I was in the panel. They asked me, uh, what do you think is the best and, more, and cheapest way for energy, renewable energy production? Yeah. My answer is always the same. The best, the cheapest way uh, to buy energy is not to consume it, you know? <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. if you can save energy, it's all energy or money that you are saving, correct? Because that's the cheapest energy, yeah, yeah. not to use it. I mean, to reduce it, of course, we need to use and energy. The second best is to produce it. To produce it, correct. Yeah. And correct. that's what they're doing. Correct, correct. Yes. So their, their, their homeowners are able to consume less. Yes. And they are able, they, the developer, uh, are able to produce more yes so, of course so so far the, the production is not massive yeah, because yeah, we don't have a huge uh, uh, um, how do you say rooftop but yeah. every building we yeah. do better I think uh, you know uh, they say a, a trip of 1,000 miles start with the one yeah. step one so step. And, and hopefully hopefully with more buildings you're putting up yes. you can you can interconnect correct them. that would be actually it would be nice also to explore partnership with the renewable energy production yeah. or yeah. Uh, other uh, um, they say entity stakeholders that yeah. are in uh, yeah. the energy so that we maybe we can do something together and improve yeah improve sir uh, i yeah. have, i have some question here yeah, from uh, one of our viewers well, uh, from Trisha, Season Linao, Tala, excited for all IDC projects, gr green living at its finest. Oh. And um, from Bing MC Lim, the land there is lower than the highway. Will there be flood issues? No, no flood issue. We already uh, study the, the terrain, the topographic, yeah. no problem. You'll just have a good... Uh, yes, you need to have a, a right, the, the right drainage system, you need yeah. to have the right slope, you need to have the right yeah. different elevations. Yeah. That, that, that has yeah. been uh, all considered. Yes. yes. So, uh, during our last interview here, you mentioned about some plans of uh, investing somewhere in Misamis Oriental and in Bukidnon. <laughs> uh, yes, we have planned. Uh, that's of the record. Of yes. the record. You know, we are a publicly listed company. We cannot disclose anything that has not yet be, yeah, been yeah. disclosed. Yeah. Uh, but as I said early, uh, earlier, we are very much uh, into business development in, 
in Misamis Oriental. Yeah. We like Mindanao, we like Misamis Oriental, and, uh, and we want to explore yeah. more area to develop uh, green and sustainable projects. Actually, I am not surprised with that. Why? Region 10 is the fastest growing yes. economy in Mindanao. Second, Region 10 has the largest land area. And third, the per capita income of Region 10 is also very good. That's why uh, real estate market here in Cagayan de Oro is, uh, has grown by dips and bounds because Cagayan de Oro is the convergence center. No, but uh, uh, right. of course, the, the, next, the next thing that should happen is uh, the growth of Cagayan de Oro will be shared by the others shared with the others, and we're even looking at not just the Metropolitan Cagayan de Oro, but also to include Bukidnon, uh, Manolo Fortich, uh, even Malay Balay, and Valencia. Valencia has grown. Uh, the growth of Valencia over the past several years has overtaken Malay Balay, you know. Yeah. So I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Uh, now, looking at the other neighboring LGUs of Cagay and de Oro, these are also prime areas already. These are beginning to be prime areas. You know, the challenge really is uh, one on the uh, waste management. Yeah. True. Second, uh, water supply. Water mm -hmm. supply. So you, we, you need uh, bulk water supply, uh, bulk water supply... Uh, in neighboring LGUs, uh, Opol and uh, Lagindingan to the e to the west, and Taguluan to Balingasag or even Asaan to the east, no. So uh, bulk water supply would be uh, the next big uh, big thing that would happen, and uh, with that, uh, property prices will uh, further increase. Of course, uh, the water district here in Cagayan de Oro needs to be uh, uh, supported uh, uh, for upgrade. Yeah. For upgrade. Yeah, I heard that some developers uh, had some problem about water yeah. supply. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, by the way, to all our viewers, uh, they're watching. Thank you for joining us. Hi to Maminda Ravanera, and uh, oh. yeah, she's uh, watching. Just a little bit of concern. Is yes. it okay with you if I? Yes. Uh, I hope Ital Pinas would take into full consideration the drainage, uh, because that's uh, that's a problem we have with Primavera Tower One. Your ah, thoughts, okay. sir? Yeah, in, in, you know. Um, also, I live in Makati. I have drainage problem uh, all, uh, yeah. all the day. I mean, the problem in the Philippines is sometimes since it's very hot, uh, the uh, the water, um, how do you say, uh, evaporates, mm -hmm. and so you may have problems uh, of uh, drainage. Yeah. Uh, actually, if you consider that we already developed thousands of uh, units and only one person is complaining, means that we are very much into yeah. Uh, yeah. doing right things. But would be nice to know the person so that we can address yeah, uh, yeah. the problem. I mean, we, we have people 24 hours, seven days uh, a week mm -hmm. uh, in our buildings to address problems like that, which, again, in, in condominiums are quite normal. Yeah, I'm yes. sorry for the person, but we are here to fix. Yes, yeah. thank you. And, uh, yeah, and uh, so tomorrow you're going to have this, uh, pro uh, this launching and... Uh, Will that be for phase one and phase two already, sir? Not yet. Okay, we launch uh, Verona as uh, the entire project, but we will open uh, for sales all, only one phase, uh, ah, which, okay. uh, by the way, has been already, we have been already collecting reservations as it's said sales is doing well. And, uh, and it's, it, I'm very excited because more or less one year ago, I was here to launch the subsidiaries, uh, it has been as IDC Homes, which is the company that uh, uh, developed, it's going to develop uh, Verona, and uh, one year after I'm here to launch Verona. So very excited about that. That's why I flew here, and also because of uh, the interview. I was so excited <laughs> to be interviewed also, by you guys. Uh, uh, in compliance with the ballet program. Yes, yeah. correct, uh, yes. Uh, that's the reason for this uh, yes. subsidiary. We, correct. We so, are going in very yeah, much into yeah. the economic so market. So that's, that's, uh, that's a logical decision 
uh, the law requires you to set aside a portion yes. of your income for uh, low cost yes. uh, projects. So they're doing that. And uh, to make sure that the project is done properly, they have put up their own yes. uh, subsidiary. Also because we want to yeah. really segregate different markets. Yeah. We don't want uh, to create yeah. confusion That's and right. uh, so that uh, uh, different clients from different products, yeah. they can be addressed differently, but of course always uh, with a consistent yeah. quality in product yeah. and services. But uh, of course, the, the passive green yeah, always, uh, strategy. That's in our DNA. Nobody yeah. will uh, take oh. this one out uh, from us, sir. No you know, one. You know uh, when we were having lunch, I found out because uh, we talked about this place that uh, uh, architect Nati spent a uh, good part of his yeah. life, no? And uh, I didn't realize. His grandfather was a mayor of oh, yeah. the town yeah. Yeah. in Italy. Yeah, he yeah. was a mayor, yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, uh, if, if you, uh, you could be mayor. No, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, can, I, can be, yeah. I can do good in the private sector. I am not really a very yeah, good, yeah. Uh, uh, I think. I'm but not uh, a good. did you know your grandfather? Uh, no, you actually, up? I met him. He, he, he passed away. It was 97. I was a kid by then. And... Uh. Uh, uh, but uh, it, people tell me that uh, I, I took a lot after him, and I'm uh, proud about it. That's yes. good, that's good. Uh, Giovanni Guzella, yeah, it wow. uh, was the, wow. the name of wow. my grandfather. And yeah, he was also, by the way, a, a real estate developer himself. I see, that's yeah. good, that's yeah. good. <laughs> so maybe I, I got if... some gene from him. <laughs> <laughs> the business yeah. development, not the politician. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so this is it, a grande part of that. Uh, ah, yes, this is the yes, this is phase one, um, uh, which has yeah, been already yeah. turned over. Actually, it's under turning over now, and uh, and um, yeah, we will uh, we have our office also there. And by the way, I want also to share with the uh, with the audience a very good news, which is that uh, one of our Italian architect based in yeah. Cagayan, oh. uh, architect Giovanni Guzella, oh. also because he's my cousin, is. Uh, 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 from uh, uh, my mother's side, uh, uh, Giovanni, that has been living here in Cagayan for the longest time, uh, has been uh, uh, is now he became the uh, embassy represent the Italian embassy representative uh, in uh, in Northern Mindanao. So That's good. Wow. he worked for uh, IDC. You can uh, all the Italian community if you need. Uh, any help uh, uh, from the embassy, no need to go to Manila, you can contact uh, architect uh, Giovanni, uh, the representative of the Italian embassy That's in Northern good. Mindanao. That's good. Yeah. You don't have to be interviewed in... Correct. You can... Yeah. Uh, for, for cert, I, 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 yeah, I don't know the details, but for many things, I, uh, yeah, yeah. the Italian uh, uh, community can uh, refer to him directly. That's good. And That's his, good. his office is going to be in uh, Primavera City. That's good. You yeah. have other developments also outside of Cagayan de Oro City, sir? Uh, yes. We have uh, in, in uh, Batangas, in Santo Tomas Batangas, a project called... Uh, uh, Miramonti, Green Residences, and uh, we are going to have also, we are planning to have more projects in uh, Luzon. You know, uh, uh, last year uh, I was in Santo Tomas, ah. and uh, I've, been, I've been frequenting the place because on, on, on your way to Batangas, uh, Calatagan, yes. uh, the Bicol area, you would certainly have to pass by yeah. Santo Tomas. Correct. And I would, I would always make a stopover in Santo Tomas mm. to try the, the restaurant. The Bulalo. The Bulalo. The Bulalo and the Tawilis and the Malifuto. Grace. Uh, Grace and something, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We all treat there. You know, uh, I, I, it was a mortal sin if I would <laughs> not uh, drop by, you know. Yes. So when we went Rose there, and Grace. Rose and Grace. Yeah. When, well, on our way to San Juan, Batangas, uh, I told them, let's have lunch, the family. And, uh, wow, I was, I was very much surprised with what I saw. Santo Tomas has grown. Yes. It's already a city now. Yes, it became a city just a few years ago. Yeah. And uh, it, it used to be just a, just a crossroad. Yes. Uh, and people stop in Santo Tomas just to uh, try the bulolo and uh, in Rose and, Gre Rose and Grace, that's yes. a restaurant. A Toro Toro. 
But now it's a big restaurant very, already. Yeah. Very big restaurant. But one of the reasons why Santo Tomas is growing at fast rate is because it's surrounded by industrial park. That's Peta, correct. It's a many peasant zone, yeah. and uh, there are more than 100,000 employees in that area. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so it's a very progressive and uh, very interesting area. That's why we are there. And it's uh, crossroads. Yeah, crossroads, right. actually. Yes. Yeah, Batangas, uh, Laguna. Now they are building the the uh, uh, expressway, the, the highway going to Lucena. Lucena. And the, the, the node is in Santo Tomas. Wow. Yeah. So we've been lucky. Also, people say, "How how did you know that?" I didn't know. <laughs> we were just lucky. <laughs> yeah. No, but Santo Tomas is really a, very nice. A growing, you know, uh, growing from city. where it was, say, forty years ago. Oh, uh, I was really flabbergasted when I saw you know, yeah. but, uh, the bulalo of Rose and Grace oh, was very still nice. very good. <laughs> still very good. And uh, pinais, uh, I, I tried it. I uh, pinais, I don't know. Uh, the, uh, the fish with uh, uh, vinegar. I didn't try that. Uh, <laughs> I, try, I, I yeah. do bula, That's what bula we call bula. inun on here in... Uh, uh, here uh, locally. But also the food here in Cagayan, I love it. Yeah, yeah. of course. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Good. So, what's we um yeah? What what's your real estate outlook for Northern Mindanao? Let's say, twenty twenty. Actually, I I um, I was reading the news about the two thousand twenty two uh, of uh, Northern Mindanao, yeah, yeah. and as uh, uh, Mister uh, uh, Moreno said, uh, uh, is it was the fastest growing yeah. region in the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, I think we have GDP in, of in seven point In Mindanao, Mindanao, sorry, Mindanao. But one of the fastest in the Philippines yes, also. Yes, um, And uh, so the, 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 the house gap is still big. Uh, yeah. And uh, infrastructure are coming. And uh, so I'm very positive about uh, Mindanao in general and above all Mizamiz Oriental. And, and of course Cagayan, but not only Cagayan, also surrounding yeah. areas. As uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Moreno said, I mean, uh, the growth of... The, I don't think there is doubt about the growth of Cagayan. It will include yeah. other uh, yeah. uh, cities, surrounding yeah. city, and uh, I'm sure that there would be like a comprehensive land plan in such a way that all these yeah. cities can in some way contribute to the growth yeah. of this very rich uh, area in, in, yeah. in the Philippines and in Mindanao. I, 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 so I'm very positive. That's why we are going to do, we are planning to do more projects here. And yeah. there's a, another uh, interesting potential and this is the northern corridor from Osami City to Iligan to Cagayan then all the way to Butuan and Surigao. And Surigao, that's, yeah. that's uh, the northern something corridor. interesting also we would like to explore because you know um, Italpinas is really a first mover yeah. so yeah. we start and then others yeah. follow and yeah. then when there are too many <laughs> Uh, 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 developers, then we want to look for another uh, yeah, new yeah. locations. And thank you very much for sharing this uh, view yeah. about uh, the next, uh, most probably the next yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, direction for These the are expansion. Growth areas. Yeah, we want to we wanna explore more. You know, uh, I still remember uh, the head of PESA then, uh, Director General Lilia de, ah, Lima. Lilia de Lima. Yeah, I remember what she told me. Uh, I think I was governor at that time. And uh, because many were interested, particularly Japanese, etc. No? And, you know, I was surprised when she said, you know, people like to do, uh, uh, you have, you have a, an advantage here that the others don't have. I said, what? You have more sunny days. Mm. The northern Mindanao side, has more sunny days than usual, uh, than other LGU. So that's very advantageous for shipbuilding, ship uh, repair, things like that. Actually, more sunny yeah, days. you know, I came from Manila this morning. In Manila, uh, it was very bad it's raining. Weather. Yeah. <laughs> I came here, the sun, it, it looks like hot. August in Italy. <laughs> yeah, very, very sunny, warm, beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So we have more sunny days in Mindanao. Yeah, that's very interesting. Also yeah. for solar, that's why... Uh, there are there is a, there are solar uh, farms here. Eh? Yes. I, I remember even when we started back in 2009, we visited Sepalco. Yeah. Uh, at that time, it was only one megawatt. But I, I, right. I know now they're one of the first. The, the first, yeah. yeah. I remember very well. Now yeah. they are building more. So yeah. that's one yeah. one of the reasons. I mean, 
uh, higher number of uh, hours of yeah. uh, sunny radiation. Very nice. So the solar panels. Yes. Yeah. 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 One last thing, because uh, we're already oh. over time. Um, a lot of, uh, many of the developers now are following your trail in the uptown part of Cagayan de Oro. What do you think about that, sir? Uh, you've got more comp competitors now in the area? You know, I, I am actually happy when I, I know that competitors are coming because uh, the city will become more uh, dynamic. It's like to say, I, I live yeah. again in Makati and we are happy to see many buildings and many yeah. establishments because competition it yeah. also brings uh, more opportunities. You know? So yeah. I, I'm actually I'm happy to see that more uh, uh, players are coming. I'm Just unfortunate that they came later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, but as I said, we want to look for also new places to develop. We want to be the first. I always say like Star Trek. I don't know if you know Star yeah. Trek. That's we want. Uh, we want to go where nobody has been uh, that's yet That's a before. trailblazer. <laughs> Thank sure. you, sir. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Yeah, and uh, wow. Uh, did I see Shine giving us the <laughs> signal already that we're over time? Yeah. Yeah, so, wow. Uh, can we ask you, architect Nati, to give your closing message? No? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. And uh, first of all, I would like to... To thank, uh, uh, for, to thank you for inviting me here and it's a pleasure and an honor and uh, I feel uh, that Cagayan is my uh, uh, adaptive uh, home, uh, city. I feel uh, Ita Italianon, you know, Italian yeah, and yeah. Cagayanon. And I would like to thank all the people, uh, not only the customer, but the broker, all the stakeholders that made this dream because it was really a dream come true. And uh, we have many things to do together. And uh, I love this place. And, uh, and of course, I love the Philippines. But Cagayan is really the place where uh, uh, everything started. So I would like to thank everybody for that. Thank you thank again. You. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. yeah. Yes, attorney. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, uh, I have said at the start of the program that uh, architect Nati has been a trailblazer, and you know uh, what kind of uh, what a trailblazer he has been, and we'll continue to see more of him, and of course uh, Italpinas and uh, uh, the partnership that has uh, uh, seen what many, many others have done and has done so many things that many others had followed suit. So we would like to thank you for, number one, believing in Cagayan de Oro and uh, Northern Mindanao. And number two, for falling in love in with Cagayan. Cagayan de Oro and Northern Mindanao. Thank you very much, Architect Nati. Dakasalamat sa inyo. Stay safe, everyone. Good afternoon. Yes, thank you very much, Attorney Oka, and of course, Architect Nati, and to everyone who joined us this afternoon. Thank you very much. Mayong hapon kaninyong tanan, kinisimarcel ka, Senior Rivera.